People have told me that I have the nicest lawn in the world. But I think that's a bit of a ridiculous claim because there are some truly amazing lawns out there. Now, most fun lawn in the world? Now that's a trophy I put on my mantle. Come hang out with the lawn tools. Let's make the lawn fun, y'all. Hello everybody. I'm racing against the weather a little bit today. We got rain coming. I think the weather app says that it might not come until this afternoon, but it's looking kind of like rain. So anyway, sort of racing against the clock. So, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything crazy with this video. I just wanna show you, give you kind of an update here in the woods. I've gotten behind. Shocker, I have bitten off more than I can chew. I've told you guys I wanna get this all cleaned up and I, I really do, that's, that's the truth. I wanna get this all cleaned up. I just don't have time. <sighs> My yard is about 20,000 square feet now. And so I've got enough work just taking care of that and trying to real mow at least twice a week, especially once the, the temperatures start warming up here. I just know I get behind. Actually, one of my buddies is gonna start helping me. He's gonna come over here and start helping me mow. I'm gonna pay him to come mow up here. Well, anything, like even teach him how to real mow. Just teach him a lot of the stuff that I do so he can come and help me out with this to try to keep up with some things because I'm just getting behind. So my goal for up here, you can see that it's overgrown. This is already overgrown. I've got the Toro Titan Max. Thank you Toro for that, this is a free product. Um, I just don't, like I said, this is helping a ton because that's a 60 inch mower. So that's making a lot quicker work out of this, out of mowing up here. I've only done it a couple times so far this season. <laughs> Again, time. I, I, I'm not a full-time lawn care guy or a full-time YouTuber. That is definitely for sure. I am an optometrist, uh, as I think has come up on this channel before. Just recently, people have asked me about my recommendations for safety glasses, in fact. And so I'm showing you my safety glasses. These are the ones with the rubber ring. These are 3M. I got these from Lowe's. They have the rubber gasket all the way around to contact my face. I started wearing these before I even started doing sponsored videos because in sponsored videos, you have to wear safety glasses. You have to wear the ear protection right now that my ear protection stinks. By the way, I also want recommendations from you guys because ear protection, I need, I want something over the ear. I want something nice. So Isotunes 3M, what do you have? What do you recommend? Let me know what you guys think about whatever ear protection you're using so that I can make the right choice. I, my wife is also going to come up here. She wants to mow and get away from the kids sometimes. Oops, did I just say that? But I want her to have nice ear protection so she can listen to a podcast or something and just kind of tune out the world and have fun mowing like we all know and love. So anyway, give me those recommendations for your ear protection. Uh, but my recommendations as an optometrist for eye protection, something that actually contacts your skin. I started wearing these before I was doing any sponsored YouTube videos because I just got annoyed at grass and tiny little dust and dirt and everything blowing up into my eyes. It's just annoying. So I could get on my soapbox and be like, oh, I'm an optometrist, you need safety glasses, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, I just think it's annoying to get stuff in there. So I started wearing motorcycle goggles that have foam around the outside. I bought those cheap, whatever, motorcycle goggles from from Walmart and they actually come in contact and I loved them yeah you look goofy but I don't care function over fashion right folks so anyway that's kind of the gist of this video I'm just wanting to show you get you an update on what's going on up here in the woods and really 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 gonna try to actually keep up with it this year and do a much better job so uh, we'll see how that goes <laughs> Oof, this stuff is tall and thick and a little bit wet, but the Titan Max is handling it. It's not as tall and thick as the first time I brought the Toro Titan out here, if you remember that video, but it is thick. And so my game plan is kind of to section it off, do little sections at a time and blow everything out. So discharge pointed away from the grass every time, because otherwise you just get more bogged down with extra glass, grass clippings in what you're trying to mow. So anyway, just kind of going in circles, shooting everything out. The goal is to just get it short over time. I'm thinking that this grass might actually stripe. What, what, what's up here in the shade and what's kind of up here in the trees, it seems like a type of cool season grass and it does sort of stripe where the tires are. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna plan on getting a uh, striping kit for that and then eventually get to the point where if I can keep up with this, then I'll be able to mow and maybe even put some stripes down up here. I need to get rid of like a brush pile and all that sort of fun stuff. But anyway, that's the uh, that's the game plan. So let's get back to it.
Well, I'm not sure if you could tell or not, but uh, it started raining on me out there. Um, let's see, so I didn't get everything done. I got pretty close though. I did a pretty good job. And uh, the Titan Max did a good job. So I think you guys realize by this point, I am really tough on my equipment. I'm probably harder on the equipment than I'm supposed to be. In fact, not but just like two days ago, somebody commented on one of my videos was talking about me pulling the sand drag around behind this, this one or the other Titan. I was hard on both of these Titans that Toro sent me, but anyway, pulling a sand drag behind this and they were telling me how hard that was on the mower and everything. And I guess they just never have run a Toro before because I haven't had any problems. I, I'm, I'm really tough on all the equipment and it still works great. So this stuff can stand up to what I'm putting it through. Um, I am beyond grateful to Toro. For sending me this type of stuff it's it's beastly beastly equipment here but yeah it's uh, it's already starting to look a lot better up there in the trees even just after that so the next steps are going to be to pick up sticks uh, there's a lot of branches down up there and a lot of other stuff i need to clear out brush piles burned and all kinds of other stuff but just mowing consistently that's going to be a big thing i want to mow more often up there if i could get to even like twice a week like i said if my wife is going to help me out with that i'm going to pay this other guy to help me out with that then hopefully we can get to mowing that at least very minimum once a week it's a different day more mowing job seems like it's never done but it's kind of overcast and rainy again today like i told you last time i am uh, not a full-time youtuber so i just have to get this stuff done when i've got to get this stuff done Coming out here to mow the fairway today. This is the fairway, and this is a lot more overgrown <laughs> than I thought it was. I need to probably spray some weeds out here too pretty soon, but I'm gonna mow this. Um, I like to try to keep this pretty short. I'm just gonna keep, again, I, this whole video, the theme is trying to keep up, right? That's the maybe the theme of this whole year, maybe my whole lawn care life, I don't know. But um, <laughs> if not, I'm gonna make that harder. I'm gonna make this fairway bigger. So it's actually pretty short and stubby. I'm gonna make it longer going that way. I've been working on this for a couple months. I had this mode and I've been keeping it down. But until the temperatures warm up, I just really don't have a whole lot of an option because um, I can't put down seed or sod or anything. I don't have any option to put better grass out here. So I'm just trying to keep it short until I can like probably kill all of it off and put down something different. Um, the temperatures, man, today like 60 is like the high for this afternoon. Um, it's just craziness. And to like Wednesday night, there's a low of 40 something, 45 or something like that. It's just ridiculous. It's not warming up. Saw some report from Oklahoma with the, the soil temperatures are taking forever to warm up this year. That's where we're at. Good old transition zone problems. Real low dad. He's like over here on Instagram posting that he's trying to convince me to go blue muto. You've already convinced me, real low dad. Um, I don't need any more convincing. I just need warmer temperatures to be able to put seed down. I'm gonna do a little bit, a little bit this spring actually. I'm gonna throw some down in a little section just to experiment with it. But I really think that this fall I might go all out and just do like my whole backyard blue muta. Um, just start messing with it. His his yard looks awesome. Check out real low dad if you want to see some blue muta action. But let's uh, let's get this fairway mode over here. All right. Here mowing this and I actually got pretty darn excited because this is gonna be awesome <laughs> I, am, I just extended this fairway and it made me so much happier with the way that it turned out and and I didn't even really realize this was here but there's kind of a muddy spot right here I think we may get an official water hazard right there it's actually kind of perfectly outlined there's a little ledge on the other side and I think if I make it just a little more defined that could be a pretty good water hazard. And what I can do is if it overflows, just make some kind of drainage out. There's like a big ditch that goes along right there. So I can just make the water hazard, if it overflows, go right out that way. So a little bit of dirt work and that could be really neat. So, like I said, I just got really excited about all this. Anyway, uh, it's gonna take a lot of work. I, I'm, I'm talking like years. I mean, over the next few years, I've only been working on this fairway for a couple of months now, but the golf course has kind of been in the works out here on the property. So, man, anyway, I am, uh, <laughs> I'm just getting excited. So I hope you are too. 
going to try to keep it up up there like at the beginning of the video. Keep it up up in the woods, mode, sticks picked up, all that kinds of stuff. Make it look really nice and then also keep working on this fairway. There's left tool. <laughs> He's out back on his back porch watching me with some binoculars or something. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to try to keep up on all this. This is gonna be so cool. Okay, so let's make the lawn fun again, guys. Let's do this. Have a good one, I'll see you later.